Now, the Prime Minister is uh, meeting Chief Ministers of States amid a surge in COVID cases today. India has reported over 20,900 new cases in a matter of 24 hours, the highest in over three months. Driving the surge are Maharashtra, Kerala, Punjab, Karnataka, as well as Gujarat. Four of these states have seen over 1,000 new daily cases. India has also recorded its highest daily COVID deaths in two months. And uh, when we talk about uh, the worst affected uh, cases and uh, the, um, the number of cases that have been reported in the country in the last 24 hours, uh, Maharashtra has reported 17,864 cases. In Kerala, 1,970 cases have been reported. Punjab reports 1,463. While in Karnataka, 1,135 cases have been reported. And in Gujarat, a little under 1,000 cases have been reported in a matter of 24 hours. When we talk about uh, the COVID deaths in the last 24 hours here to Maharashtra tops the charts at 87. Punjab coming in at 38 with 15 lives lost uh, uh, to COVID-19 in Kerala, 12 lives lost in Chhattisgarh and another 6 lives lost in Karnataka. To get uh, more details, we have uh, Sukirti uh, joining us. Sukirti, there's been a spike in cases but now also the daily COVID deaths, those have spiked and there's been the highest count that we've seen in the last uh, two months as far as the daily death toll is concerned and if you can take us through the state uh, especially Maharashtra and also the other states uh, like Karnataka as well as Gujarat where the cases are spiking. Uh, well, yes, uh, the weather uh, spike in cases and deaths is definitely a very big concern for the government at this point of time. Uh, but uh, we'd like to take our viewers through the latest updates that are just coming in regarding the Prime Minister's meeting with Chief Ministers of all states. Uh, so most importantly, the CM of West Bengal as well as Chhattisgarh, these two Chief Ministers are not attending the interaction with the Prime Minister on the COVID situation. Uh, also, Amit Malviya, the head of the BJP's IT cell, has commented on uh, Ms. Mamta Banerjee's absence. He has tweeted saying that the governance has never been Ms. Mamta Banerjee's priority. She's always chosen confrontation over cooperation with the centre and that has kept West Bengal back. How could the Chief Minister not make time to discuss corona pandemic and vaccine-related issues skewed priorities? So uh, definitely this being pointed out uh, by the BJP as well that Ms. Mamta Banerjee is not attending this interaction with the PM. Apart from that, currently there is a presentation being made about the 70 districts uh, where the corona cases have risen by over 150 percent most of these cases are in western india 60 percent of the active cases in india right now are in maharashtra and uh, also 45 percent of the deaths are taking place in maharashtra so all other cases of concern punjab gujarat uh, chhattisgarh their issues are also being raised uh, so all multiple issues being raised, the presentations being made about the spike in cases as well as uh, Maharashtra having more deaths and cases, all of those issues being raised in this interaction right now that is going on between the Prime Minister as well as the Chief Ministers of all states. Uh, but definitely it is worrying that two Chief Ministers have chosen not to become a part of this interaction. One, West Bengal Chief Minister Ms. Mamta Banerjee and Mr. Baghel from Chhattisgarh, he has also not participated. And uh, to point out, Chhattisgarh is among among those five states that have reported the highest deaths in the last 24 hours. So states continuing to see uh, worrying situations in terms of COVID cases and deaths and yet the chief minister not choosing to participate uh, is something definitely that uh, experts are also going to criticize. Right, uh, so Kirti, so many experts are calling it the second wave in many states as far as the country is concerned. Uh, what has led to the second wave considering that uh, the vaccination drive is uh, on in full strength? Well, yes, vaccination drive is definitely going on in full strength, but uh, most medical experts that one speaks to at this point of time have been seeing, have been saying that there is a certain COVID fatigue that has struck in. Uh, people have stopped wearing masks. There's no social distancing, especially if you go across markets, whether you go to Delhi Sarojini or Lajpatnagar market, or you go to markets like Dadar in Mumbai. So across marketplaces, there are huge crowds that are gathering over there. Apart from that, other social 
social gatherings it's been the wedding season their gatherings are taking place states like tamil nadu kerala where uh, elections are set to take place their election rallies have been going on so gatherings have been a very big reason uh, why covid spike has been witnessed and even the central teams that had gone to maharashtra even they had pointed out that covid appropriate behavior is not being followed uh, add to that the fact that many of the state machineries have also become a little lax uh, about taking measures